Hey guys, so let me show you guys how to make a virtual switch for smart things. What can you use a virtual switch for? Well, let me give you an example. I installed uh, smart things on a you know a virtual Android app so I can show you guys. So this is my house. I have all these lights, attic fans, dining room lights, blah, 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 whatever. So say you want to have a light switch that you could just press one button and you could turn off like, I don't know, like five different things. Or most importantly, if you want to have Google Home do a multiple commands at once. For example, I wanted to create a pattern where I say, okay, Google, good night. And you would turn off my kids' bedroom lights, dim the hallway light, and all these fun, fancy things. That's not possible with Google Home unless you have it linked up in here. Now, in smart things, you have these routines, but routines don't carry over to Google Home. But physical light switches do. So to do that, I created, for example, this this one called Good Night, which is really not a light switch. It's just a virtual switch. If you look at it, it's uh, hooked up to, it says, it says, turn off Natalie's bedroom light. When Good Night, turn on. Turn off and set hallway light to 10%, whatever. So this is what this does for me. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to create a virtual switch that will show up like an actual switch. Now, uh, let's go to the browser. Now I'll put this link smart things link over here uh, how to log in here so I'll log in with my email let's click smart things it's already saved now you're gonna get over here I'll put a link to this graph.api smart things.com you can click on my location and then you gotta first click on my location though then you gotta click on my devices up oh, it doesn't show one yet so let's click on my location again then click on devices Okay, um, let's see. These are all my light switches. Okay, so back to my location, home. I clicked on home just to, I guess, I don't know why they do that, but now if you click on my devices, they should all show up with a, with a new device button up here. Now, so say we're going to create one with called Good Morning. Uh, just, just for example, click on new device. It's very simple. Name it. Mm, oops. Good morning. Okay. Mm, label. You can put whatever you want. You can leave it blank. You can just put good morning again if you want. Okay. You can just leave these uh, Zigbee ID. Leave it alone. Device network ID. You can put whatever you want. You don't want to put something that might crash with your other one. So best thing to do is you should just type in like whatever you put like this. One is one word. That's what I do. Now type. Here's the important part. Open this. Scroll down to, I put V, you could just jump down to, where is it? Sorry, one second, we're going to have to find the, Bean on fire, where did it go now? Just when you want to make a video, it disappears. Samsung. There we go. Simulated. I'm sorry, here we go. So we need to find simulated switch. Okay, here we go. Simulated switch. Select that. Version, leave it published. Location. Here's where you have to pick your Smart Things Hub name. If you have multiple ones, you want to pick the one you want to sign it to. So in this case, I only have one, it's called Home. My hub is called Home Hub. Group, leave it alone. Don't touch it. You probably won't see anything here anyway. Just leave it alone. Click Create. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's created, called Good Morning, Good Morning, Simulated Switch, Version Published, blah, blah, blah. Now, now when we open up this, uh, this will be, if you open up your app, it will show up here in like a second. Let's see if it shows up already. Good morning. Here we go. Good morning. Okay. Now, if you click on this, it's like a light switch. On off it won't do anything because it's not linked to anything it's just a virtual switch but it pretends to be a physical switch now what you could do is you can now create events and have this light switch do this so for example i'll give you an example uh, smart lighting okay 
how about the smart lighting new lighting automation I'm gonna show you guys one thing okay so which lights do you want to control now say you want to with that s virtual switch you want to control I want to control both of my attic fans I want to say hey Google good morning and I wanted to turn <coughs> on or off my attic fans so I'll select both of them click on done okay what do you want to do you can select turn on or off whichever one you like now it says select trigger okay so you go to trigger scroll down till you find switch switch okay because that pretends to be a switch which switch tap to select it now now you're going to select the one that said good morning this one okay now you can leave turn off as well so if you say it again it'll turn them on and off and uh that's it click next review it turn on attic fan one etc when good morning blah 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 and you can edit the automation name if you want to show up differently in your list done that's it we're completely done now so if if now if we look back go back oh no not that back and if we go to my home good morning we created good morning right yeah good morning now if you come here as you can see now that's uh smart thing that we created the uh, event is right here turn on attic fan one then etc because as a fit when this is happens the good thing with this is now you could actually go to your google home app and this will show and you can authorize this and this will show up as a light switch actually now you could also obviously give it a custom name in google home so when you say okay google or alexa or not alexa works but it should be the same concept it should be able to do um, just that so back to this part again I'm gonna delete this real quick. This device, see, I says it's finding smart apps because we created a smart app. It's saying this will be deleted. Yeah, fine. I don't need a good morning switch. Um, my location. Uh, just real quick recap, guys. When you log in, click on my location because when you go to my devices, you might not see anything. Click on home. I don't know why Samsung does this, but now you can click on my devices. Now it will show up over here. You'll come to this place where you'll see all of your stuff, actually, everything you have. And good good morning is gone, as you can see. We deleted it. See, good night is also a simulated switch. So real fast, click on new device, name, whatever you want, label, find, leave it alone, whatever you want. Here is the important part. You just have to find simulated switch. Simulated, scroll down, simulated you can mess around with all of these nothing's gonna happen guys but just for the sake of this tutorial you need simulated switch published leave it unpublished location home hub home hub create and that's it it'll create it for you all right guys um, if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and I'll try to help you thank you